But I uh, never really got around to it. There's usually been another game that's come out or just there's been a group of people available. Uh, so uh, I thought uh, this week uh, I'd finally get off my arms and actually do it. Uh, so Dredge is a, is, it's a interesting little independent title uh, that came out. It's uh, published by Team17. Um, it's basically like Cthulhu fishing game. And uh, I, I do like me some uh, kind of Cthulhu uh, type gameplay. Or Cthulhu sort of story settings. And it's just it's a simple little title where you're just going about and you're trying to solve a weird mystery. You're a new fisherman that's turned up in this town, these connected islands, and you're just out and about trying to find out what happened. If there's any uh, truth to uh, certain rumours that have been going on around this place. And it's a it's a semi-open world. It's not massive, but uh, it's it's got lots of little areas to go explore, little mysteries to discover. And uh, if things get to the uh, later evening, uh, things get a little bit uh, a little bit creepy as you're going around. And I'm not that far into the game, as far as the story is concerned. But one of the things I was exploring was, I believe I'm going in the right direction. Nope, so that I'm not. I'm actually having to long that so I'm actually going over this way. Is uh, trying to find some items for a pair of brothers on one of the other islands. So we have like a few different abilities. You can drop things like crab pots. And uh, use your spyglass, got foghorn. Lights, you know, it. lights are important. You can also have like a speed boost ability. But yeah, lights are really important uh, during the, uh, the evening because uh, they help to keep your sanity in check just a, just a little bit longer. Because yeah, when it gets dark, your character starts to go a little bit off the tits, let's say. And the further out you go, the more likely you are to encounter weird fit. Let's put it that way. I can't remember. Is this the is this the woman who wants you to do research? I don't know. Uh, oh, the photographer. That's right. Yeah. What do you want me to do again? We're going to try and find my extra my case of extra lenses at this level, and I hit some coral to the west towards Stella Basin. Mm -hmm. Where the hell is Stella Basin? Oh, right. It's over there somewhere. Oh, it might be that red marker. That should we go? Maybe we should go check. We place them. Oh no, I've placed a marker there. So, oh, this is great. I don't remember why I placed that marker there. Hello. How are you doing, Totty? Jesus, it's already getting dark. Let's put the old light on. How could it already be getting dark? I, I left in the morning. Oh, this is bad. No, we should we should probably do some fishing. Ah, oh, no, I can't do a vessel depth depth fishing. Hey, Fron. Hey, TG. Either how much uh, was the bribe or how bad is the black man to see how to play a sea based game? This one isn't quite as bad. Okay, that's neat. Big fucking fish. Uh, another moonfish. Uh, I'm gonna get a couple, but they're probably worth a bit of cash though. Oh wow. Oh wow, it's fucking dark. Hello? Hello? Oh. Okay, someone already spoke over lost their contents of the waves. Ah, photography equipment. Ah, shit. <laughs> ah, now we've put them. Ah, it's a request. Alright, we'll let the, let the moonfish go. Oh, 
fuck. Oh god, yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh, 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 up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Ooh, goblet. Oh, that could be worth a bit of cash. If, if you see a boat, it's not a boat, it's a giant fucking freaky anglerfish. No, 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 I'm not going mad. Oh, fuck, I forgot about those things. Oh, no. No, no, no. Put my light back on. Oh, Jesus. Oh. Lightning strike. Oh, fuck, this isn't, this isn't the photographer's place. This campsite. Strange symbols are scratched into the sand. Uh, search the campsite. An extremely rough and worn sheet of fabric has collapsed at the base of some modern supports. There's nothing remarkable there. Okay, the symbols. The symbols span the breadth of the camp, twisting this way and that. Some are grouped together into what must be words. Fresh footprints tread carefully around each. The last symbol trails off hurriedly and looks unfinished. Okay. What do you want to do? Leave. Alright, we just we just need to I think it's that one. It's I can do research. Oh I don't have any research parts. Uh <laughs> There it is. Oh, what the? Oh, what the fuck? Oh, Jesus. What the fuck was that? Oh, fucking evil spectral shark comes out of fucking nowhere. Damaged my boat. I better get a good reward for getting this woman's lenses back. Tell you that. I don't know I was dodging that fucking shark. Yeah, 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 you know, she takes the case from you and inspects each lens carefully. They seem mostly in half. As promised, you should take my spare camera. The lens is only special, but it should allow you to capture some good shots. If you want some advice on looking at wildlife photographs, just say the word. Talking about large fish, especially more knowledgeable than than I am. There are a few shark species around, most notably the huge whale shark, they tend to warm water around the Stella Basin. They're completely harmless, as I'm sure you know, but they do be careful around them, you know, with propellers causing them injury. Mammals? Well, still relatively scarce, I believe. A few uh, ceta uh, cetaceans, that's whales and such, can be found in the deep waters around mm. here. And I'd be looking to spot a pod of bottlenose dolphins or killer whales, so they know to swim alongside the boats. As for the larger whales, I've heard humpbacks, sperm whales, and even the old, uh, the odd blue whale. Mm. Doesn't surprise me to hear that their numbers dwindled one with Intel's whaling endeavours. Hopefully, that population mm. will recover. Birds. We have quite a variety of birds on the island, so I suspect they're all too small to spot them about. There should be a few larger species like goats and ravens loitering around the more active docks, though. Mm -hmm. The ruins and devil's spine host a few breeding pairs of seahawks. You can't hear them fall into each other, though, and they're quite elusive. Mm -hmm. Reptiles. I'm glad you asked. Not many consider reptiles when you think of the ocean. Loggerhead turtles are a common sight in the temperate waters around the Maras and Gale Cliffs, though they can be hard to spot. Mm. When it comes to large reptiles, they don't get any bigger than the saltwater crocodile. The mangroves are twisted strands of the perfect environment for them. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right, well, I'll just, I'll just take my fucking madness-inspired boat and uh, try to get back to the fishing village. Where's, uh, where's that haste bit in there? Oh! Oh, fuck off. Fucking Magnus to Tornado, whatever it is, getting that shit. And do I still. At least I still got all my stuff here. Oh! Oh! <laughs> what the fuck was that? <laughs> I don't even know what the fuck that was. <laughs> just a huge fish just got out of nowhere. Alright, let's, let's, let's try that again. Alright, does. 
Okay, so, like, so it, it saves you and gets to the dark last one. Okay, right, we're, we're trying to get back to Ingfell, okay. That's all we're trying to do. We just want to get back to the dock. It's it's daylight. It's it's twenty past seven in the morning. This time we didn't get hit by a, a creepy fucking tornado. I damaged the hallway. Oh my god, there it is. What the fuck is that? Oh, oh, ah, oh, oh Jesus. Even have depth charges. This is what comes with madness. Oh, he does not when you got a damaged engine. Oh no! That thing's likely to just outright kill me. Oh no! I just oh, fucking wrecked the ship with the damaged engine. Oh god. What? What do you tell me? What about the cabin? Yes, I found a new fish. I know this game. I'm, I'm desperately trying to get back to it. Fucking <laughs> Alright, okay, so we know there's a giant fish that's somewhere over there, so... We're gonna try and get over to that island over there. We're gonna, we're gonna do an island hop. That's what we're gonna do, island hop this shit. Okay, I don't think the giant stingray, or whatever it is, is gonna come after us. I know he's over there somewhere. Okay. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 there he is. Oh, Jesus, there's no getting away from that. Ah! He's just a feature. Just exists. No, we'll get away. Oh, there's one. Let's see. There's one. There's fucking tornadoes over there. Oh, this is... Of course, it's coming over here. Why wouldn't it? Yeah, the ship's only partially on fire, apparently. It's alright, the, the weird eye at the top of the screen doesn't seem to be going completely mental. Just need to get back to the town, sell off the treasure and the fish we got, repair. Hope that nothing's going to get me around this deep bit of water over here. There's monkeys. There's a shot. I've got no room on my boot. Hey, if I get enough cash, I can actually upgrade the boat. Oh. No. No. I'm near the rocks. They <laughs> hear I'm fucking dead. I'm fucking dead. Go away. I don't even understand how you work. I, I must have somehow been like a nanometer ahead of it. Dash again too much, but it was the only thing that kept me alive. Am I caught? Maybe I can get over to that side first. Right, let's see, east. Right, go around. Because I know there's a little town or something over there. I think there's, yeah, I can just sit the floating dock over that way that I might be able to use. It's the damaged engine that's really scuffling. What? Something slivers into my cargo hold off, for fuck's sake. No! No, not, no, don't infect my moonfish.
Of course. I just have to keep going. Hopefully, it didn't start to get me. Right. Okay. Maybe even. May, might even be able to get like a couple of smaller fish. I don't know that tiger mackerel. There you go. Nice and cheap. Small fish. Stack them. Look at that. Yeah, I even got an achievement for my tiger mackerel. I'm going to go to this woman now. No. Yeah, I know. I know about that. No, the, the, the crab pot. Yeah, do you want um 64? I'll tell you give it 64. Are you fucking shitting me? Mm. So, what? Well, I'm literally gonna make a dollar out of this from all the repairs. Go. All right. All right. Fine. That's fine. That's fine. Five hundred. That's that's okay. That's all right. We're, that's what we're here for, right? Now. We'll go fishing. We'll see what we can find. Wait a minute. Oh yeah, I've still got the goblet. I need to get her mind. Yeah, she won't buy the goblet. She only buys a fish. There's a bloke in the other town. Oh, God. Damn. A wreck fish. Big old fish. No, it can't be getting. No, no, not dark again already. Huh? Uh, black mouse salmon. Still that fucker in there. We've got ourselves a trophy fish. So, Asian lady who owns the floating dock. Here's an interesting thing for everyone, if you want to feel old. Uh, next month, on the 15th, uh, the channel I will have had for 10 years. Can you believe that shit? Mm. That's what I get for that, for $100. Hmm. I'll go rest until long. Yeah, the channel will be 10 years old. That's properly meant. And I doubt anyone here will have ever seen the original stuff I ever made videos for. I don't, yeah, I don't, I don't think anybody would. I don't, you know what, I don't even think those videos even have comments on them, as in, not that, it's not that I turn them off or anything, just that I don't think anyone ever watched it and made a comment. Um, but yeah, it, it's it's kind of funny. But yeah, ten fucking years. Maybe hey, she would be a big boy. <laughs> Skull and Bones has changed a bit from, yeah. There's no bit in the game where you dive down to untangle the line. Fuck you, Namal. What's that noise? What's that noise? Okay, that was weird. No, I, I am. I'm going about to sell the fish, but I need to go sell the goblet. There's a guy in the other place that buys like the little trinkets you can find. Some of them could be worth a small fortune. Do 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 do. 
gonna make enough money, I can upgrade the boat. So this is like you're starting town, right? You go here. Th this place has a bloke who wants to who wants to buy all your little trinkets and shit. Uh, a trader. All right, the goblet's worth thirty-five, but it's, it's money, right? Hang on, I've heard the door. Back in a sec. Letter, everything's stuck down so well that you just can't seem to open it rapidly. What, just open up a shark or something doesn't smash your boat to It's fine. I'm at the dock. The, the stuff can't get you there. I mean, the dock worker in the bottom left there, he's having a bit of a rough time. He's a guy who, I think he ate like a weird Cthulhu fish thing that you that you wanted you to catch from. Jeez. Why would this fucking let open? There we go. Right. There's, I'm um, just checking, like, some of the bros' mail, because, uh, you can get a little anxious about some of the letters you see, so. Usually check them for him. Okay, well, that's not. He will be, unfortunately, a bit, a bit scared at first, but he'll be alright now. I know what those are. That's fine. Hey, you doing, Grizzly? How you doing? Miss Stroll, no way, checks calendar. Oh my gosh. I've been listening to the great algorithm and first recommend your lore, which is pretty much at the start of your channel from such under your content lots. Uh, yeah, well, the, the first thing I ever made a video for was um, a game called War of the Vikings, uh, which I think I have a couple of videos of still on there. Awful microphone, scared fucking tone of voice. Making original vids, uh, the original stuff, yeah. It was a little later on that it became stuff about like corner line and all that. Go to the fishmonger. Right, uh, sell fish to you, mate. <gasps> I got the upgrade! Yes. Uh, is it right? Yes. Yay! Yay! I've got a new boot. Alright, oh wow, oof, yeah, this is, oh this is, this is much better, much better, oh, okay, right, so, I can even have, I can have another engine, okay, we can put on another peculiar engine, faster boat, slightly faster boat, but faster boat, uh, now, I don't think I can have a line that can go, that's coastal and shallow, uh, so we need to be able to go a little bit Deeper, which I think she does sell one that goes. There we go, volcanic. But I need 330 for that. All right, that's that being on there. Okay, next bit. There's, a, there's a little quest of pursuits. So I, I need to go find the family crest and gale cliffs. Uh, and also catch a conga eel. Where is it? Gale cliffs. Okay. And also just catch a bunch of rare fish. Okay. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Hang on, it's fucking dark. It's, uh, it's, uh, just, just, just really dark. We're, we're just gonna wait until morning. So at least we can get over to Gale Cliffs without being eaten by giant fucking salmon or whatever it is. Woo, wow, that's quick now. Oh, I'm a little more confident about avoiding those fucking Cthulian fish now. Woohoo, we're fucking flying. This is great. 
The boat is looking a bit more dapper. I thought I remember there being some prior vids when you, you know, checked your other after subscribing about them, but I couldn't recall what they might have been aside from maybe Forest of Land and the Thumbnail. Yeah, it was, it was just that. They're, they're not very good. Conga eels are best caught by hand. Yeah, I'm sure they are, the man. I'm sure they are. Not in this game, though. A rotten mast lays down on the island, half hidden by the fo uh, foliage. It had its base an old boat was cracked into. Look inside. Ooh. Ah. Research part. Very useful. Metal scraps, they're good for future upgrades. Vault of cloth, same dealy. Bag of doubloons. Oh, this might be. Ah, oh, it's a great eel. No. Oh. A Cthulian grey eel. A spine broken with sharp ankles and crooked curves, a row of teeth bent on revenge. Yeah, every fish in the game has a uh, Cthulhu version of it. Or is it? It might just be, you know, madness. I think the first thing we saw was a uh, showing of the of Zeus when I uh, when it was first as MWO and all I could say to myself was, who is this turkey in my record? <laughs> yeah, it's still crazy though, ten years that I've been doing this. thing is like access storage I just don't know what it is. You do the same with research parts as well. I'll bring, you know, store the doubloons as well. As soon as we can get on with uh yeah. we'll sell them some fish. Fish. Because uh, yeah we need that three hundred and three hundred and thirty. We got that three hundred and thirty for me. Check around the island. Yeah. No, that's not, that's not. We need to find a conga eel. Hey, Morian Forge, how are you doing? I don't know if I've caught this fish before. It's a sturgeon. Oh, Christ, it's big. But yeah, I've not caught a sturgeon before. That's good. Put big light on. Could be upgrade parts here. Dredging. Bit of lumber. Yeah, it's nice there. Let's get some wood. He's a lonely sailor. Playing with his book all day. I don't know. I want to hang on. I want room for that. There's a big chunk of scrap metal. As he once was a lonely sailor. He's going mad. That's a fucking stingray. That's not going to go on the boat. With all the crap we've got in tow. So I'll have to go back to the woman and drop it into the storage area. Da -da 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 you caught next Scottish First Minister? I did, yeah. But I like caught with Nicholas Sturgeon. <laughs> Alright, Nicholas, stop fucking around. Get the boat. Come on, we know you're corrupt. Come on. 
Why can't, why aren't you just all of them? You're the only person here. You, you run off and switch what you're wearing to go like, oh, now I'm, a, now I'm a fucking... Now I'm the fisher person. Now I'm the one who fixes your boat. Look at that epic reverse spin there into the full move. He's away. Right, light over it. What's this one? Nope. What's this for? A pile of loose debris, clear enough to take some strong explosives. Oh god, yeah, there. Oh, there's somewhere where I can buy explosives, I think. Is it the hermit? Ah. What am I supposed to be doing? You were going to keep an eye out my family across it was directed to the tallest pilot creature. It patrols the passageways to the cliffs, but its lair is somewhere toward the centre by the large waterfall. Alright, okay, so that's what I'm supposed to be doing. I am fearless, but I am also a feared. That's the big waterfall. That's what gives the large, large white teeth. What? Are there any other... There might be another way in. I assume for the 10 year vid we're going to get a Narcosis game guide. Yeah, 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 that's, that's, that's what we're going to get. Yeah, yeah, we, we have me screaming into the void. Quite literally, because I'm at the abyssal depth. Yeah, that's what, that's, that's what I want to be doing now. Yeah, I want to be fucking shit myself for the 10 year vid. I just don't know. It only recently occurred to me. I was just looking at, at the channel after I got with a bunch of stuff. And I, I realised, like, oh, hang on, this. How long, how long ago was this? It said like nine years. Like, Holy shit. Shapes in the deep. I mean, could it be any more awesome in the position? Overboard you go. Alright, I got his crest, come on. Or whatever lives there comes after me. We know something lives there. Play Soma. Yeah, yeah, there's there's another one to avoid entirely. Yeah. Yeah, going around, uh, inhabiting a, a robot body. Yeah, yeah, in the, the bottom of the ocean. Yeah, that sounds, sounds like a great. Sounds like a great idea. I don't know what I've done to you people. Alright, Hermit, I've got your arsehole. Is this your crest? You found it! Never thought I'd see this again. But now, I have a further favour. Would you take this to my brother at Ingfell? Tell him. Tell him his brother is sorry, and would like to come home. Right, Ingfell is the... Oh, that, that, that's just a cross. Right, okay, that's... No, wait a minute. Oh, no, alright, no, Ingfell's just over there. Okay. Well, that's, that's not that Hello, retired whaler. What is it? 
I believe this is yours. Gods, I haven't seen this since. Hmm. So he did take it. I knew it. He's sorry if we let him come home. Hmm. I don't know if I was in the right state when he left. Okay, fine. He can stay in my old workshop, at least for the time being, but I'll need some time to clear it out. While I'm doing that, perhaps you can do something for me. See, I've been trying to clear debris in the pathways through the cliffs to make a shortcut with explosives. I was able to set a charge, but the cliff seemed particularly unsteady that day, so I didn't risk detonating it. You just need to get in there and set it off. It's not far in. I left some yellow flags nearby, you can't miss it. Uh, okay. Let's go set off an explosion after we sell the stonefish. It takes like a couple hours to reinstall it, I think, to move it, move the line over. It takes like two hours to move a fishing line from one bit of the boat to the other, apparently. Uh, oh. Okay. Oh. One ninety nine. Oh god, I really, I'm getting ahead of myself, thinking, about, oh, I must be, I must be in the money at this point. No, you know. You're having a bath, aren't you? Oh god, it really is dark. I mean, I know where I'm going. Sort of. Oh! Oh Jesus Christ, what the fuck? There's a long fuse up front of this, what you like it? Yes! You like the fuse. And probably damage your ship because you didn't get any distance. Yeah, I should let the whaler know. Just let him know there's a fucking monster around here. Yeah, hi. I may have just released a gigantic sea monster. Uh, don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. You being the whaler, I'm being the fisherman and all. It did decide to take a chunk out of my boat. You've done it. We heard the blast from here. Gods, the echo. I'm surprised the cliffs didn't come down on your head. I got things here, ready to go. Go tell my brother that he can come home. You could just stand on the dock and shout. He's only over there. I'm sure the sound would carry. I don't know why I've got to go. Yeah, you're right, mate. Yeah, I'm. Uh, I'm here. Yeah, your brother says you can. Uh, you can go back. Oh, that's a huge weight of my chest. One so old, I hardly remember it was there. Right. Well, I'm packed, ready to go. Yeah, you just get on my boat as uh, <laughs> as cargo. I'm sorry. I need to put a. I need to put a mung fish there. Can you just step one square over to the side? Yeah, thanks. Sir. It's kind of my thing. But taxi service. I just cleaned his teeth. Yeah, I think I did. The hermit notices the old whale is standing on the dock, waiting for him. Little brother, you're home. I I'm so sorry. I was so foolish. We both were. Come on inside. Let me get your bags. The two walk away down the dock. One of them, pausing for a moment and turning back to you. Oh, you find any more debris that he's clearing? I'm working on making some more packed explosives. Come by the old whaling yards any time. Okay, I will go to the old whaling yards. Here, this is on the house. Packed explosives. I hope you put them to good use wherever you find calls for it. 40 each! What? Say, what's expensive this fucking. This fucking shipping lot around here. Everyone's got a price, apparently. Aye. Uh, Ships damaged. Yeah, it got bitten by a, a big fish. I'm, uh, I'm off again. I'll go go blow up uh, something near an abandoned town. Wish me luck.
cram them in. Debris crumbles away, just like your sanity. <laughs> Sapphire earrings. <laughs> Shapes in the deep. Okay, well, we'll go check that out after we uh, sell the fish. The peach. We'll sell the peach. Whoa, <laughs> You tried to get me, but I dodged you with my boat is speedy now and more maneuverable. Hello there. Oh. I've got a load of little fishy bastards for you. Yeah, that's what I've got. I'm off again. See ya. Oh, I've got to go dredge up something that looks rather interesting over there, Benny. <laughs> Bits coming up, but I think that might be one of the main story things. Dredge, 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 it was a rusted music box. A large oak box with a rusted hand crank on the side it emits a low rhythmic chime as it rocks with the waves. Uh, I believe that's one of the relics. Oh, the art of the silver tongue. Oh, no, I, should, I should definitely set that to be read. Read? Read? Uh, pursuits. Trivial pursuits. Uh, was that one of them? Ah, no, that's the key. Ah, found a music box. We've returned to collection on Blackstone Island. Oh, okay, let's go to that one. I think Blackstone Isle is. directly here. Huh? Yeah, thanks, Ishul. <laughs> yeah, the grats on telling you. Yeah, it's been a, it's it's been fun. Can't complain. You know what? It's for. I've, I've never asked for any cash. I've, I've never I never really felt like it's something I I should do and. All the rest of it. I've I've been lucky that like games companies and stuff have been more than happy to uh, give me a review copy and stuff like that. And I've, you know, made some pretty good friends out of it uh, over the years. So that, that's that's pretty damn good in my in my books. I can't really complain. Uh, Consider it was never my goal to ever try and reach some kind of you know, superstar that was streaming fame or some shit like that. Right. Okay. Uh, you found this the cliffs, didn't you? Yes. Ah, excellent. This should make future return journeys a little more swift. Allow me. He selects one of the silver ribbons trailing from the crimson bound book, opening it to some unseen page. Turning to catch the dim light, he whispers the words on the page. After a few seconds, you feel your stomach drop suddenly, as though thrown but high by a wave. He closes the book and turns his attention back to you. Now there are yet more relics to find. Keep looking! The reef at Stella Basin may have caught and accumulated some wreckage. Search around that area. I'll mark a location on your map where you can begin your search. Anything else? The words that you have in the book, what did they do to me? The book holds power from the deep. I merely extended its powers towards you. Is there one in particular you wish to know more about? Manifest? Use of these words will induce a trance-like state. While in this state, time will pass in the blink of an eye. When it's over, you'll find yourself here. As always, I caution against overusing it, selectively and strategically utilize it when you need it most. Are there any other paths? Sorry, I've, sorry, I've just unlocked a, a fucking teleport. 
ability. Okay. Right. Well. We can't go to the workshop yet, though, can we? Oh, we can go inside. Oh, no, it is still locked. Okay. I can't do anything with like that, then. Oh, so, yeah, uh, you talk about um, Sven Vanderplank's videos, are you sure? What's that? I don't want to go near it. <gasps> rocks! Oh no, wait a minute, these are phantom rocks, aren't they? Christ, I'm straying into the Squid! Cheap squid. Cheap, easy to catch, simple squid. And then eels. Slimy, slippy eels. Which. People in the south eat jelly deals. Of course they do. Of course they do. Oh, no, I have some jelly deals. Now you're alright. I'm, 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 I'm feeling a bit. I'm feeling a bit like I don't actually hate myself. Oh, the big tasty. Lighthouse keeps waiting for you on the dock, looking displeased. I saw you sailing out toward the horizon, crossing that deep expanse. Do you really think that's wise? What's the problem? It feels a bit like tempting fate, does it not? Things are bad enough around here without your provocations. Abruptly, she walked away. Her eyes scan the water as she walks along the dock. Okay. All right there, fishmonger. How you say that? Tear of endearment, like. All right. Ah, oh, heat-resistant line. Now fish in the shallows, or at least that's what he said out loud before he realised he can't because it doesn't have fucking ability to do. No, it won't work, regardless of what way I put the line on. Oh no, no, I can do this. I can do that right now. And then... Yes. Right, so now we can also fish volcanic depth, coastal and shallow, and oceanic. That's pretty good. I think we're only missing one now, which is uh, abyssal. A lumpy mackerel. Yeah, that, that's, that's a Cthulhu fish. Not how mackerel's supposed to look. Definitely not supposed to be lumpy. That's for sure. Tried to sell that in the supermarket. No one's going to buy that one. In the supermarket. Hello, would you like to buy this lumpy mackerel? No, get away from me, you strange person. Very well. Oh, madam, would you like to touch my lumpy mackerel? Mm -hmm. Oh, have a banana. Doc, trader. There you go, those earrings. Worth 40. What oh, the heck? 40. 40 quid. 40, uh, 40 nacks then. What do you think? Can't say fairer than that. I mean, sapphires. A bit more than 40? Nah, mate. It's all going to give you 40 quid. Take it or leave it. You bastard. What, what's it telling me about the cabin? The map. The map. What's it telling me? Oh yeah, just go right into the middle of Stella Basin. Yeah, that, that looks fucking safe. Yeah, let's go there. Don't die. The big red, ooh, what's down here is a bit worrying. Hey, Scouse, how you doing? Right, uh, the fish one going to be right, mate. Got ourselves a fish. Alright, let's, let's... Ah, 
Don't let the fact that the sun goes down that fast, it scares me. Da, 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 da. Here come the evil fish of the sea. They want revenge because I've been fishing them. And I'm going in the wrong way for the town, it's over. The pop 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 pop. I hope the giant fish now. They don't come right after me. I know there's giant fucking anglerfish that look like boats. And there's a flatfish that wants to eat me. Oh, stay away from that, because that makes you go crazy. Da, 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 stay away from me, you weird mantle seducing fog. Da, 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 da. Let's go, let's go over here. Let's see if we can find. Oh! I'm just get the shit out of me. I mentioned that, I've got philosophy. Giant bastard fish is pr he's probably wandering around this place probably down to it. We haven't explored all this nah, it's again. Shake so much. Why are the eyes? Why are the eyes? I'm not going crazy. Papa Cthulhu loves me. Oh, I've got him. Cat trapped in the back. <coughs> God damn it. I keep thinking, I'm trying to get smart. Ooh, one, two, three. Ha ha. Oh, screw it up. Uh, yeah, yeah, because I can get all. Oh, 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 here we go, here we go. No! It's a trophy one. for some packed explosives. Get yourself some packed explosives. There, great! You know what, we'll just we'll go big. Buy a whole bunch. Oh, hang on. Sorry, Infel resident was just to speak to me. Hello! What is it? Are uh, you the one that wanted me to catch a fucking uh, conga fish? Ah, uh, it's a conga eel. What the fuck? Oh! Damn it! Slivering into the cargo hold. Oh, it's definitely the kind of town where the locals go out at night. Trust me, they're, they're just they're just weird by choice. Do 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 do. Yeah, uh, you know what? I would have streamed something like um, Dragon's Dog too, but uh, that's uh, that's a game that uh, is a little bit crap. Just in the towns. I honestly haven't had that much problem outside of the general sort of environment. Ah, is this where the eels look for? Oh, that's a great job for us. Job is that really just like you do. Yeah, those are, those are good, those are important for the birds. Make a make a shortcut. That's a good idea. So this is supposedly where the where this like monster lives. Uh, I doubt we can go into the wall. 
Oh shit, I can go in the waterfall. Oh god. Oh god, what am I doing in here? Why did I go hit all that? Oh, that needs a Bissell depth. Oh, okay. That's not there. I don't to go there. A rotten chest sits atop a pile of rubble at the back of the cave. Okay. Oh, I never find that one. Oh, that's good. And a baker bag of the wood. Ooh. Oh, I keep damaging my hole. I didn't think I was really going that hard on this thing. Wall there, but okay. Oh well, might as well uh, make this last shortcut. Inspect. Use three. Use explosives. Boom. Anyone who's a fan of Adam Cole knows that it's all about the boom. I like that rocket's making more places for the big fish to hide numbers from. I kind of am, aren't I? That, that is exactly what I'm doing here, but it, it also seems like it's a necessary evil. There's a little bit of an abandoned dock here. That's uh, what I might have been able to... Uh, tap so it's on this side, maybe? There we go. Another campsite. You stand in the centre of a campsite, where the fire's embers are cool, but ash is still steadily blowing out. A large flat rock sits atop the charred wood of the campfire, a handful of tiny fish bones we seen poking out the ashes. I will kick the ashes! You kick the ashes! Your foot hits something hard at the bottom of you brush the wrong side. Ah, research path. Brilliant. You take it. You find a footprint, but unfamiliar symbols have been sketched in the dust nearby. Some have been erased with a hasty sweep of the foot. Okay. Makeshift tent. It's a sheet of cloth suspended over some sticks. There's nothing inside save for a smooth hollow in the dirt where someone slept. Right, okay. Keep pressing the wrong button at the wrong time. Look like a boot or something. Uh, go ring. Worth much money? No. Oh Jesus. Oh, I saw him. Oh, I saw him. Oh, fuck me. He's huge. And he makes that noise. Oh my god. Well, it's in there now, so. Hopefully it's not the, it's hopefully he's not a vindictive type, you know, that comes after me. Hi. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't think I've got no fish to sell yet. I don't know why I went to this bit. I do, however, uh, I do wish to grab my bag of balloons, uh, put that over there, and uh, I do need a little bit of fix up. Yeah. Bumped the. You know what it is. You, you bump the shoreline a little bit. It's a bit of damage. You know, just silly stuff that you end up doing while you're, while you're panicking from. Giant Cthulian sea monsters. The usual. Uh, right, so if I wish to get more rod spaces, get to that. Oh, cargo spaces, I think, would be more important. So this would need two lumber, two scrap parts, and a bottle of Actually, do I. Do I already own that? Two lumber, two scrap parts. Yeah, I do. Okay. The annoying thing about this is you do have to kind of juggle uh, a load of the bits first into storage and then you go to uh, floating up, you click the thing you want and then you drag these over and they'll just stay in the upgrade section for you but you have to go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth and it's not the best but it does at least open up the room in your storage that you can uh, put more stuff in there while you wait for the uh, catch for this upgrade, so I need to stick both of them in there. So once I get 300, I can then just come back and, yeah, get an extra four cargo spaces, which are shown here, which is quite nice. I can also get room for an engine upgrade, or another part for engine. Some engines are a lot bigger, so 
And we need to unlock all of those upgrades to, um, to be able to get ourselves a, uh, another whole upgrade anyway. Oh, that's actually partially clean. No, stay away from that. No whispers, thank you. I only like the gold ones. They don't make whisper gold that much anymore. Actually, no, that's a lie. I like normal whisper bars. Whisper bars are great. Whispers, Yorkies. Oh, There's a bunch of us. Galaxy Secrets. Oh, what a what a fine a fine chocolate bar that was back in the day. That's that's a lie. That is not another boat. That's an angler fish that comes after you. Oh god, I've gone through that bit. Oh shit. Stop playing merry hell with my sanity, thank you. Oh, yeah, I'll, I'll talk to you. you started reading the Battletech rule book, uh, my six year old uh, dad said, Oh, cool. Yeah, I'm sure you'll enjoy it. And uh, yeah, it's called Dredge. Uh, it's, sure. it's a fun little game. I like, it's one of those games that it's, you can just sort of do it at your own pace, you know? Bits and pieces to look out for as you're going back today, but uh, yeah, it's even that, it's pretty good. Yeah. I sort of always had the intention of streaming it because it's, it's one of those just silly little titles. It's not a huge amount either. Ah, there we go, got enough. Yay! Extra, extra space, which is always nice. I'm actually going to rest, though. It's a bank about the encyclopedia. Oh, yeah, so this is basically all the fish that you can catch in the game. There's a, there's a fair amount uh, based on that, and then there are different aberrations that you can find of each fish as you go along. And the area you can catch them. It even tells you what the biggest ones of each you've caught, whether you catch them in the day or night. That kind of thing. It's pretty cool. So I've got mackerel, cod, arrow squid, ocean perch, tiger mackerel, black sea bass, black mouse salmon. There's some kind of jellyfish. That's around Stella Basin. A couple others in. This is all like Stella Basin ones. Twisted strand, devil's spine. Grotesque mackerel, lumpy mackerel, the many-eyed mackerel, the fanged cod, three-headed cod, brood squid. Lots of aberrations of sort of existing uh, fish as well. That's that's just uh, I think that's just the coastal ones, but yeah, there's there's lots of ones you can set it to show them. But yeah, there's there's a lot, and there was a DLC as well. How does this affect my favorite water? Um, it's it's not too it's not too bad. I do get a bit freaked out in the dark bits, but um, I think because uh, I don't have to worry too much. I'm not going under the water, so it's not as bad. That's the difference. Like a game like Subnautica, for instance. Being on the ocean is a little bit freaky, but it's not the worst. But going under the water is is the really freaky bit for me in a game like this. Or, well, any kind of uh, ocean uh, based game. Right, so we're still searching for relics. We're still looking to catch. Century girl, because I guess that's, that's what I might need the, the Bissell Vine for. Uh, you know what, might be time. Let's just, let's just hit the Stella Basin, right? Southwest. Let's see what's what. I mean, right now, it's is this bit of the game, like going, uh, 
going to this new area, I I'm already a bit worried. I'm already a little bit unsettled. It's like this now, like I can't see any land very easily. So it's it starts to sort of freak me out. That fuck the fucking Oh god, no hold on. E uh I don't know. Oh, it just literally takes a photograph. It just takes a, scre a steam screenshot. What the? Ah, oh, I thought there was like a side quest thing. Oh well. But yeah, like that, that freaks me out. Also, those whales seem gigantic compared to my boat. But yeah, just this bit being... A lot of people, like, this is just, like, the cool thing about ocean games, like, oh, yeah, just, you know, just sailing about and that. And there were bits of Assassin's Creed Black Flag, for instance, that really took me a long time to do, especially because we had to go in the diving bell. Uh, those really freaked me out. Um, but, like, it's weird, like, naval combat games I'm, I'm fine with. I can play a navy combat game all day long and it won't really affect me, probably because, especially if it's based on say second world war or something like that. It doesn't really bother me too much. Because the, the rules are defined, you know, the, there's no chance of a you know like a sudden sea creature attack. <laughs> that kind of thing. You're going about and you you know you're launching planes off aircraft carrier decks and you trying to uh, to sink enemy ships. That doesn't bother me. But uh, a game like this where again I don't think there's anything that's that's going to have me going under the water, I still get worried about. Yeah, especially not being able to see the bottom, which is one of the reasons why I, I tend to move the camera around a bit more frantically. Oh, some bioluminescence. Okay, okay. Maybe a new type of squid. A firefly squid. Okay. That's kind of cool. Ah, oh, just uh, that new upgrade. Oh, I should leave a touch room. Uh, oh. What the fuck? That. Oh, okay. J jellyfish are like mines. Okay. Well, this this is some this is some weird fucking shit. Sorry, sorry, it wants me to go here. Alright, I can see. Yeah. No, I don't really want to look down there. Oh god, that is that is that is horrible. Oh that is that is wretched. Ooh, don't like looking at that. Ugh. Hello? Stop. Oh, oh you're, you're out here as well. Well, um, I have squid. It's nice that she's out here as well, right? Sell the rods that go abyssal. No, I suppose I need to get a certain part of the game right. Lumens 21, 2100, 1800. Oh, okay, no, that would be a better. That would be a better lat. That's you know you sell research parts and explosives at a cheaper price than the man who makes the explosives. Of course. Oh yeah, I got one. Silver tones, 10% increased sell price and 10% reduced buy price. Oh, that'll explain. Massage. 
I've not written in a few days. I've been afflicted with some strange chill which conspires to fog my brain. I can't seem to keep warm no matter what I do. The ink has run from some of the lines in that illegible. While most of what they hauled up was junk, they eventually came up with a large wooden casket. A hush came over the crew. at such a tantalising discovery. I remember the next moments with excruciating clarity. He pried it open easily. The buckling boards cracked and groaned with relief as they splintered apart. Crimson cloth spilled out onto the deck. The crashing waves rose to fill my ears, and I hear them still. He stared down into the open casket and then turned to me. In his eyes, I saw the void. The page had been torn off the land. Yes, I caught a new yeah, the firefly squid. Tiny sparkling squid spent most of its time in the deep ocean rising so it's near the end of its life. Oh, no. how nice. Uh, pursuits. Search for relics. Uh, find the ring in Stellar Base. Some interesting fish to catch. That's an octopus. Don't think I've got an octopus. A glowing octopus. Apparently, that is a strange find. And that is a Medusa octopus. <laughs> okay. Stack the octopi high. Alright, what's all of them I can get? Game music a bit loud compared to me. Okay, tough one. Um, there you go. Yeah, this multi tells me really gets around. Yeah, apparently she's uh, she must go about on that on that boat, but I never see her. I start to think she might actually be a figment of my imagination. Uh, actually, she have like a floating dock. Uh, so the next upgrade probably engine space. So that's two scrap and two lumber. Okay. And then storage. I've got the two scrap, I just need to find one more lumber. Stick those in now. Get that upgrade sorted. Well, daylight shouldn't be too bad for going around and walking stellar basin. I assume there might be. Yeah. Why? There's tentacles! There's fucking tentacles! Ah! Oh Christ! Oh God! Okay, right, okay, get the fuck out there! There's some kind of horrible monster down there that has just struck my ship twice. Get the fuck out of there! Run! Hi. Me again. Uh, so, uh, I went to the middle. I uh, discovered that there are giant tentacles that uh, strike the ship, so uh, we're not going out there anymore. Um, not until we come back with a fucking quasar cannon uh, to uh, annihilate whatever that is. Uh, uh, hopefully from orbit, because I think that might be the safest reach. We don't know how far those tentacles reach. We've got to be, we've got to be safe, we're sure. Uh, so we're going to go around the edge of the island. Because uh, on this day, I see clearly. Uh, 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 this is a bit of lumber. Dun, 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 dun. Fuck that up. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, research part. Oh. No. 
Waves lap at a pile of flotsam collecting on the beach, nestled in the centre of the chest. Ooh, in the chest. Large the scrap of paper. I get blues! Oh, okay. It's not bad, it's not bad, it's not bad. Oh, this looks fancy. Ah, look at that, look at that gold thing over there. Look at message in her bottle. We're engaged to be married! He sailed us out to the very centre of Stella Basin to see the lights. We talked for hours, something we haven't done in such a long time, waiting and hoping. Some time past midnight, as we were growing delirious and hysterical from the lack of sleep, the aurora shimmered into the skies above, and when I turned to see his reaction, he was already getting down on one knee. I cannot even remember what he said or what I said, but I know what that I said yes. The ring is beautiful, the span of jewels going right the way around. I cannot take my eyes off it. P.S. I wasn't sure whether to write this under yesterday's date or today's, given that it occurred at the conjunction, but I feel that the news is significant enough to warrant spanning multiple entries. Uh -huh. I'm sure this story is definitely going to go very, very well. Research parts. Uh, a large scrap of paper with some shapes thrown on it. One corner is a compass symbol. Yes. I'd middle click the storage, but unfortunately, uh, my middle mouse button is broken, so the new mouse is arriving today. I have. Oh, that's right, yeah, research is what will unlock the new one. I, but I need four research parts to get a rod that can go volcanic and mangrove, and I need that to go to abyssal and hadel. There's a hadel? Depth? Oh, that's. That's just. That's wrong on so many levels, that. That! What you got there, Roy, that's... that's feckin' wrong. Oh, you see what you got there, and that... that, mate, that's wrong. Hello, researcher. Hello, I wasn't expecting visitors, who are you? I'm a fisherman. Ah, yes, I thought you had the look, but a fisherman all the way out here. Strange. Well, it's a pleasure to meet you all the same. I've not seen another soul in months. In fact, I could do with your help if you had the time. What do you need help with? I need help collecting samples to study. I was originally posted at the research outpost on the interior of the basin, but it was attacked. A large creature emerged from the depths and destroyed the outpost, and now it rests at the center of the basin. I fled here and have been making do as best I can, but I had to leave most of my equipment behind, so now my research has come to a halt. Take a look at the list of specimens I need. Please drop them off here. You might need to experiment with different fishing strategies to collect them all. I just... I, I had a glowing octopus. If you'd sent out an email or something, that would have been fine. Is there anything else? Uh, what sort of creature attacked you? Well, I got the sense that it was attacking the research outpost itself rather than me. I suspect it was disturbed by some of my monitoring equipment. There were dozens of machines running there, all powered by a noisy generator. It was huge, larger than any other marine species I've studied. It attacked with tentacles, so I'd guess it's some sort of octopus or squid, or an anemone. One of my research vessels was modded. Oh, sorry, was moored around the back of the station, so I managed to slip away in that while it was tearing apart the front. There was a lot of valuable data and equipment left there, but I'm not going back. I can't. I won't face it again. But, yeah, I don't blame you. Yeah, you know, same thing else unusual since you arrived. <sighs> now that you mention it, I've been so preoccupied with the attack and having to rebuild, I'd almost forgotten. I found these letters from my sister. She sent them to me while I was studying before she... The research is quiet for a moment and stares off to the side. Anyway, I... I kept finding them amongst my papers. I don't remember packing them, but I must have. I started finding them more frequently. They've turned up in my collection nets, in, in my sampling tubes. They were letters I'd never seen before, but they were in her writing. They were in her name. They were saying things, talking about things that happened after she died. I can't explain it. Right, so, right, so she, she's gone. She, like, what we like to refer to is she's gone fucking mad. She's suffering right there. Space madness. That's what's going on with her. She's gone fucking loopy. There's no helping her. When she's like that, that's it. She's finished. 
she's not long for this world. That's all I'm saying. Starts with letters from your sister, then you start seeing clowns in the shower. Oh, oh there we go, well, she needs one of these. Squid, squid, squid. Right, well, you want a glowing octopus. You want a glowing octopus for your birthday, and we got one. It's really unhappy. It does not like... It does not like this. We'll see if we can find a squid. Squid. Yep, there we go. Glowy squid. There's firefly squid. Right, that's two of them. You've almost like some kind of jellyfish, right? Go to the dock. And then we go to the floating dock. And then we add the other board. Oh, oh, the upgrade. The upgrade's cheap. Nice. Two bolts of cloth, two metal scraps, and a bit of lumber. Well, that's, that's bad, that is. Alright, we've got some stuff here. We're just undone. See if we can't get ourselves something so it looks. Keep an eye out. Stay away from the giant fucking monster in the middle of the Hey, no, nope, no. Nope. Put the light back on. You Cthulian bastards. Trying to mess with me. Right there, lovey. Yeah, about them specimens you're after. Right, I've got one of them. There's your second. Right, we've got to find an Aurora jellyfish. I can catch that. I can get, I can get that. I don't know exactly where, but I'm sure there's one knocking about around here somewhere. Once it gets a bit lighter, I might actually have a chance of spotting like a shoal or another. Blue over there, maybe that's an Aurora jellyfish. It did say coastal. Hello? You're not an Aurora jellyfish, you're a firefly squid. Let's first go to the live stream. Ah, well, hey Nicholas, how are you doing? You know, I'm not sure if the underwater giant tentacles glowing is more or less creepy to me. On one hand, you can see them, on the other, you can see them. Yeah, it's, it's a bit unsettling, regardless, isn't it, to be honest? Well, sometimes you think you're safe during the daylight, and it turns out, no, actually, you, you're very far removed from being safe. I was listening to one of those weird altars. Stone hums quietly, sending ripples through the air around it. Faint shapes dance upon the surface, vanishing before your eyes. Oh, I put my hand on the stone. The cold stone doesn't respond to your touch. Well, shit. Even the cold stone wants nothing to do with you. That uh, might be a new fish. Barracuda. Christ. Barracuda's big. Right, well, really, we're, we're focused on finding these, uh... Jetty. Whoa. Oh, no, not you. Ah, I think I can outrun you. I think. Uh, I'm talking. I'm talking shit. He's catching up to me. Ah, Hebe's going off. Ugh. No, I'm at the dock. Jenny Rater. What's up, PB? What's up? You can all hear this, right? Hey, Valg, how you doing? Seems like an interesting game. But why did uh, they choose the sound that triggers with every conversation to be a breathy mo? I don't know. The lab is in ruins, with equipment and research papers strewn about the place. Where do you want to look? Oh, open the cupboards. You check the cupboards. Aha! You empty the cupboards. I inspect the equipment. There are some strange looking prototype parts on the table. You can't see any use for them right now. On the other side of the table, you find a hastily scrawled note. It reads, Not safe. Expect retaliation imminently. Evacuating to Ford. Look around on the floor. You look around the floor. There are cracks in the base of the structure that grow to large gashes as you follow them along to the walls. Something extremely large and powerful created these holes. You slowly reach your arm into one. Aha! Of course, there are more research parts. 
I would not be putting my arm in any weird holes in the floor. <laughs> it's like, uh, you know what? <laughs> I'm going to not do that. Oh, I need to get the anti-tangle wine. Oh, pish. And then I can research them. Wait a minute. I had enough, didn't I? Yeah, four. Oh, no. Oh, God, it's... Oh, no. It's one per... Why is it one plus four grade? Oh. Yes, Hebe. What's up, Hebe? I love this cat, but she is an absolute pain in the ass. She's been spoiled her entire life. Her entire fluffy little life. She has been a spoiled little rat bag. Unfortunately, she's our spoiler for that bag, so yeah. Oh, there we go. Just said that, that's useful. Seems like the game knew I needed one. Where's my maps? There we go, versatile rod. An all rounder's an all rounder's rod. This rig supports a quick swap attachment, allowing the user to change lines depending on the situation. Ooh, very interesting. And that's unlocked the harvesting platform, a combination of cutting edge fishing technology allowing industrial grade unit to operate at peak efficiency. Ooh. <clears throat> so that would cover coastal oceanic and shallow water all at the same time, which is quite good. Obviously that covers coastal, shallow, mangrove and volcanic, so that's four in one. That would definitely help with uh, some of the lines. Special and standing, leave me the fuck alone, I'll leave you the fuck alone, okay? Ah, oh, Hadel, of course. Alright, I'm just, I'm just gonna check this out. Just fucking leave me alone. Okay, that's also Hadel. Okay, I'm getting away, I'm moving away from you. Oh, you stop fucking waving your little tentacles at me, you bastard. Got a question for you, Rocket. You have a uh, you have a thing with all the Battletech Mechora content you already have made that you'll run out someday. Uh, yeah, probably. Um, I mean, uh, like looking at War Warrior, for instance, I, I I had a thunk about that a while ago, and a lot of people like the the more recent stuff that I, I've done where I, I sort of just ramble at the end and talk about like my opinion on you know, some of the things. So uh, I'll probably end up going back and to the beginning at some point and redo a lot of those with a post kind of video ramble. I'll probably make the original ones private or, or unlisted or whatever so there's not just like a big uh, collection there of um, you know, previous, uh, previous sort of videos just stacked on top of each other. Uh, but I've still got a lot of stuff to go through about it. There's lots of character personalities. There's still a fair number of events that take place that I haven't really touched on. Uh, my biggest like frustration with Battletech's back catalogue of, of material is just a lack of campaign source books. They have a few, and most of them came out during the Clan Invasion era, which is good for that, but... There's so many conflicts around the uh, the sort of Succession Wars era that it, it just doesn't get covered for whatever reason, which is a real shame. You're a dog bark, isn't it? I was wondering why you went out at night and didn't just sleep until morning, but now it's still crafty in the daytime. Yeah, yeah, they do crafty in the daytime. And it's all to do with the madness thing. You're supposed to rest. Uh, during the night, if you want to get rid of that stupid eye symbol at the top, because the eye symbol means like you, you basically just go in a bit mental. Oh, another one of these black stones. It doesn't respond. No, okay. Really, I need a bomb for this? Oh, well, I 
guess I know why she sells explosives around here now. Okay. <coughs> oh, sorry. Is that it? Not one of its tentacles just sort of sat there. Yeah, I guess it is. So I'd like to find out where the fuck these uh, jelly lily fish are for that side quest, but so far, no luck with that is concerned. I'll just go to the trinket guy in a bit. Yeah, the red symbols, yeah, they're, they're something to do with a part of the game I can't actually access yet, for whatever reason. Must, I must get an ability later on to interact with the stones. There's a whole bunch of those lying around. There we go. This needs two bolts of cloth, so I as well stack them in there now. Let's sell these at the fish market for the money. Oh, two for the two, not bad. Spend a research point for there, so I can get rid of that at the inventory. Uh, shipyard. Now we can we can get the Versailles Rob. It's quite expensive, 540, but it would just about fit, I think. Or I may have to upgrade the fishing line uh, to be able to fit it adequately. But still, it's an option. And we might be able to make a bit of cash off some of the stuff we've got in the inventory at the moment because we've got. Uh, the earrings, we've got the balloons, and we've got the broken spectacles. So, yeah, we've got, we've got a chance here. Uh, this is... I really don't like the way it wants you to do this. So we need to keep our eye out for some more scrap metal as well. And that way we can... Yes, Hebe? Okay, Hebe. Right on it, Hebe, don't worry. Might be another. It is, it's a red snapper. Ah, it's a blood snapper. <laughs> oh, God. I'm sure that music is still a bit loud, isn't it? Drop it off. Yeah, it did. Uh, I think you're right there, Nicholas. Yeah, it does have a bit of the uh, the sunless sea kind of series ideas to it. Oh! What the fuck? Ooh! Whoa! Kidoki! Yeah, the fucking hermit crab that's got stones on its back. Right. Right, we'll stay away from you then. Shit out. We've got a cargo full of red snapper so, and a blood snapper, so we may as well go back, get cash, get a couple of explosives, open that up, see what's in the middle of it, and then go off and sell the, uh, the good stuff. Alas, of course, this is a. Uh... Ah, it's the wrong spot. I need jellyfish. I can't remember, do I only catch jellyfish with crab pots? I'm 
no, but that would only be crabs, wouldn't it? Jelly mm, some jellyfish are low enough. I suppose I should check the encyclopedia. Um, I believe it was coastal. Right, yeah. Stellar Basin can only be found at night and you need a trawler. I don't know if I... Oh, I might not have a trawler. I'll have to check that. that does oceanic, coastal shallow, volcanic shallow, yeah, so I think I might need to work here to get the new rods so that I can fish oceanic, which I think that other rod does, oh no, that does coastal, the hydraulic rod does oceanic, but yeah, I'm going to need a troll, troll now, aren't I, bugger. <coughs> Mangrove and coastal that does coastal man. Yeah, that's gonna be better to have. But I may have to get a troll on that set up. Simple zone, possibly catch basic fish when deployed. Hmm. Weaver fish add a nice touch of excitement for quiet walks on the beach. Oh god, what does a weaver fish do? Explosive, don't you? They have one. Oh. Better than no. This will give me access. So. Yeah, that's this wanker. Coast and hopefully not get murdered. Thanks, Heap. That's good to hear, Heap. Ow, ow, indeed. Yep. Yeah. Ah, oh, yeah, that's great. Is there any particular reason you're. Uh... Oh, okay. Well, thanks for the update, Heap. You mad bastard. I don't think there's any realistic way I could get back to the start of things. This time and I have really taken quite a risk to go back there at this point. <laughs> thought I was smoke on the water for a second, but no, it's so, so. tornadoes. All those willy willies. Well, we're getting to daytime. the light back on. Oh yeah, it's one the abyss of the light on. Always head back to the light. On the way back to the lighthouse, no worries. No fear.
No fear here. Things that usually mean some kind of weird shit's gonna clap slip onto the deck. Right, well, the weaver fish doesn't do anything. It lies on the beach, and the unobservant people stand on them. They do have a nice little spine to dissuade people from standing on them. Oh, great. That's what you want, isn't it? Yeah. Not poisonous or anything, though, just, just painful. Uh, I've got trinkets to sell, mate. Uh, the painter, I think. Yeah, I can deliver mm. the flag. Yeah, mm. go on. Then. Find some metal scraps. I think. Gale Punch might have some. Iron chain. Not quite sure whether that's a, a treasure. I suppose for some people it might be. When you pull up a wreck with a familiar looking hull, it's almost identical to the ship given to you by the mayor, except this one has a huge breach on one side. You're tied up alongside the old wreck. Okay, check out the cargo. You poke through the hold, find a few items. Not, uh, not yet lost to the sea. Well, I'm just looking for some scraps. A basic fishing pole. A weak uh, valve engine. Alright. Speed's actually quite good, 18.9 knots. It's faster than anything I currently have equipped. Unfortunately, I can't put it on the. Can I put it in storage? The cupboards have been completely and methodically emptied. All the drawers are missing. You're in the cabin. There aren't even any floorboards left. You're uh, okay. Check the overhead electrical button. It's all there, though. Surely exposure to the elements has fried the internals. You angle the overhead radio down to get a closer look. A note slips off the top. Put it in your pocket to read later. Okay. Deep sky, deep sky, deep forever. Casket seal broken, fog core. Five equals rise, he knows. Okay. What? But yeah, Mr. <laughs> I was pressing the middle mouse, and it just, it's, it's gone. It's given up the ghost. The button, it clicks, but it makes no difference.
That's just, it's not, I don't need a particularly expensive mouse anyway, so it's not too bad. It's just a razor death app of 20, I got one for 20 quid, but not too bad. It's not worth about 25 bucks. Uh, the, because I need to repair my, my boot. Oh, uh, hang on. How many of those? Do I need two metal scraps? Because I'm only put one of them into the. That's two, then we can get that upgrade, can't we? Uh, what have we got? Yeah, two of them. Nice. Now the hull. Oh god, so this is going to need three bolts of cloth, four lumber, metal scrap, and two refined metal. That's looking okay. Come on. Come on, middle mouse. Come on. Nope. Come on. Nope. It, it's dead. <laughs> it's completely dead. I know. It is my entire OnlyFans income. I know no more. A new mouse this Easter then. Yes, pretty much. Uh, I don't want to sell it though. How do I? How do we do this now? If I put this in storage, if I put it there. It won't like me anyway. Oh yeah, I'd have to press middle mouse to move it to cargo, wouldn't I? Just... Come on. Come on. No. Oh. <laughs> I can't put the engine back in. Oh no. <laughs> it's proper fucked. Oh no. This, this is the worst. <laughs> Move this fucking thing over. Uh, I suppose, yeah, I might be able to change the keybind. Let's see. Controls. Where's the middle mouse symbol? Zoom in, zoom out. Okay, it doesn't seem. Oh, there we go. Quick move item. Let's try that. Hey, Yob, how are you doing? I don't use the, the software with the mouse, it, because it always used to interrupt with me uh, using the system, especially on uh, restarts uh, with Windows updates. Aha! A fine suggestion from Fron. Why, why can't, why can't I set, actually why can't I even, why can't I put this on the boat? What? What am I doing? What am I doing wrong? Is it is it like a different engine type? Does it? It just it just won't it just won't go on the boat. I'll have to research that another time. Have you ever have a, a gas a gastro a da, gastro copy? Do not do it while awake. Yeah, I know it needs to be an engine slot, but uh, it it won't let me. It's weird. It's like engines will not come off to be installed elsewhere. All right, let's just put those into storage then, and see if we can move this one over. 
Oh god, okay, so it has to go on like that. And then, I suppose I could take one of the improved outboards. Okay. Well, I was probably better with the three other engines, but still. I know in the future you can get more engine upgrade space, so it's not the worst. Right. <sighs> um. So. What else can yeah. I do? Yeah, trying to save up money for this now, aren't I? Uh, 540, so we could just do a load of quick fishing around here and uh, just hopefully get enough cash. Probably round up the stream just getting those last uh, fish, really. Get that upgrade. But yeah, I quite like this game. Uh, if you're interested in yourself, it's it, you, it's been going up on the sale semi-regularly uh, of recent. But uh, it's, it's well worth it. A while away, a few hours. It's one of those games that you can do a little bit at a time. And, you know, you don't have to you know put in a hell of a lot of it, uh, time with it. You can still feel like you made a bit of progress, even if it's just getting some upgrades for the ship, um, like completing a side quest, doing a little bit more of the main story. Are we doing table tech tomorrow? Uh, no, it's going to be party animals. Hey, Pooper. <laughs> You're right at the end of the uh, last few minutes of a, of a Thursday stream. Four sixty-five. Okay. Well, so let's make sure Varak does the update. Oh god, yeah. A decaying black map. Oh god. Translucent sturgeon. Okay. That's always nice to unlock some of the other uh, fishy entries. Oh, you fishy bastards. Oh, well, there's a conga eel. Uh, okay, this is a bit where I've got to try and figure out. If I can... There we go. Now, I was supposed to keep one of them so it rots, I believe, because it said it... Um... Because uh, I think I've got a pursuit for that one, haven't I? Uh, yeah, deliver a rotting conga eel. I should be able to hold on to it for a while. They start to rot pretty quickly in the sun.
Okay, alright, well, I've got the conga eel, I just need to remember not to sell it. Open ring. Don't want to go around that this bit for that giant bastards around here, any? In fact, isn't that isn't that the entrance? That's the entrance to his home. No, no, it's not. It's not, it's not the entrance. To it. Be knocking around here though somewhere. Oh, was that him? Was that him? There it was. Filthy bastard. Let's catch him. Black map might work for the other quest. Where's to catch rare fish? Uh, let's double check. No, apparently need to catch an oarfish, a gulper eel, a goliath tigerfish, and a sealer camp. Uh, for that one. <laughs> Crocodile to defuse, yeah. Alright, uh, I want to just sell, 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 and sell. Oh, and the translucent's doing. Wow, that's a pretty good haul. Alright, we know we just got that conga eel rot. Uh, right, oh yeah, we can, uh, ah. we can get that. That's a new rod, don't we? So, this is going to replace a whole bunch of stuff, basically. So, this does volcanic and shallow, and that does coastal and shallow, whereas this does volcanic, shallow, coastal, and mangrove. So, that's going to be pretty good. Uh, all we need to do is just uninstall and put these in storage. Just slap that baby in there. Five hours to install a fishing rod, apparently, but uh, how do I know I'm not, I'm not fishing. So that's not too bad. I do want to get a trawler net at some point, because that might be what I need to get that other uh, jellyfish. But for now, we'll just um, float around a bit. Short bunch of them. refuses to take me aboard when he's working. He's convinced that I'll find it dull or that the crew will be crass or otherwise intolerable. Perhaps I'm being overly needy. I know he needs time alone, but I'm so desperately bored at home when he's away. He recently installed some salvaging equipment onto the boat. I think the idea of pulling up treasure is exciting. I was convinced him to let me go. Strong winds blow this way. Oh, 
But since we're near the end, should we just sail for the big red fucking circle out there? Right? See what's what. Oh good, just when it's getting dark as well. I hit the perfect time for this, didn't I? Christ. Oh, I see land in the distance. That's what I'm heading for. Oh, don't worry, but I'm bricking it. Oh, Christ. Uh, it's, just, it's just a weird effect. DLC location. This is the Pale Cliffs. This will be her again, won't it? Mm. Yeah. Down here to investigate the ice field too. It seems to have appeared out of nowhere. My best guess is that it's drifted up from the south. Either way, I thought it should set up a pontoon here, but when I uh, went to stake my claim, I noticed some old equipment on the mm. ice. Come and check it out when you get a second. In the meantime, I've got some new rods for sale. They'll be perfect for fishing in the ice around here. The icy work site. Travelling merchant has crossed over to the nearby iceberg and is inspecting small pieces of metal. Mm. He approach. It's so weird. This stuff seems old. Like, really old. She kicks a large sheet of metal half embedded in the ice. A, th a thin layer of snow dislodges, revealing lines of rivet holes. Ah. Come in here, look. You follow into a small makeshift shelter ruined by years of harsh weather. Inside are some schematics nailed to a table, still barely legible. Mm. See how they angled these sheets and the lining of the metal around the bow? Whoever was here, I think they were constructing an icebreaker. Could you make another one of these? Mm. Probably, but... Ah, uh, let me see. She trudges outside again and paces out the length of metal scraps in the ice. <sighs> We've got most of the materials already, but of course we're missing the most crucial mm. pieces. An icebreaker needs specially tempered angled metal, as well as components designed to minimise the impact to your hull. Can't see any of those here, but whoever left all this stuff, maybe they left other pieces elsewhere? <laughs> or maybe you'll be able to find their old ship and salvage the icebreaker that they built? That would be convenient. Mm. Anyway, to build a new one, these are the parts we'll need. Okay. Right, well, yeah, that's the DLC location anyway. That's added a new pursuit, which is in the Pale Reach, to find the icebreaker pieces. But, yeah, she does really get around, yeah. I think that was the Metal Gear game sale, uh, gifted me years ago for being a warm body to expect races. <laughs> right, well, I, I'll probably leave it there. Uh, we have just, yeah, we've got a few minutes over, and uh, I've got to keep an ear out for this uh, delivery. And I can hear the bro uh, rumbling around upstairs, which means uh, he'll be shouting at me to make him a brew in a bit. So, uh, yeah, thanks for joining, everybody. I hope you enjoyed Dredge. As, uh, it, as I said, it's a fun little title. It's got, um, it, it's got like, a myriad of little things to be getting on with. It's, it's one that you can even just sink a load of time in and get a load of up to just little bits and pieces when you feel like it. Um, if you're able to join tomorrow, it's going to be Party Animals. We've already got all of the, uh, all the people lined up. We should have a full house. Um, fingers crossed on that one. Uh, as we, we do try to do at least one of those uh, a month for just at furry animals beat the shit out of each other so uh, yeah if you if you want to see that happen uh, please uh, join otherwise have yourselves uh, a good remainder of uh, Thursday and uh, a good weekend coming along and uh, yeah uh, have, a, have a good one everybody thanks again bye